Schistosomiasis is a waterborne disease that infects one in three children in sub-Saharan Africa, and it is spreading up rivers faster than it can be controlled. In 1989, the strain of schistosomiasis that affects the bladder suddenly surged around Lamsa village with no clear explanation. The Lamsa is a branch of a great river system called the Senegal Basin, which stretches across four West African countries. Up to three and a half million people live in the basin and depend on its rivers for their water. What had caused this outbreak? In 1986, the Diyama Dam was built across the Senegal River to boost agriculture in the river basin. It stopped the river's flow near the sea, and this was the start of the problem. The clue to how the dam caused this devastating outbreak lies in the complicated life cycle of schistosomiasis. Like other parasites, it is a marvel of evolution. It has survived over millions of years by lurking in rivers waiting for someone to enter the water. Before the dam, prawns thrived upstream in thousands of kilometers of fresh waterway and only migrated to the salty estuary to lay their eggs. The prawn's life cycle involves needing to go to salt water to reproduce. The female only migrates. It goes to estuaries, lays its eggs there, and then she and the larva move back up the river. That's the natural cycle. Because the dam prevented them from breaching their breeding ground, the species became extinct above the wall of the Diama Dam. They knew the dam caused schistosomiasis. They knew that. We know that dams cause schistosomiasis. But how does it cause schistosomiasis? We've discovered that by removing the predator of the snail, the snail population exploded. The prawn disappeared, the snail population exploded, the disease exploded. So what you see wiggling around, it's like a fluttering wiggle, is the schistosome itself. This is exactly how they would be if you could see them in the water. So they flutter around like that and then find a human, which is what they're looking for and burrow their way right into the skin with that fluttering motion. It's like a cycle of disaster. Those little larvae enter your body. They lose their tail when they penetrate the skin. They travel through the bloodstream and lodge either in the liver or the bladder and reproduce. They wrap themselves up together and start making eggs. And the schistosome pair is going to make around 400 eggs a day. On contact with river water, the eggs hatch into microscopic larvae that seek out freshwater snails in which to grow and multiply into thousands of human-infecting organisms. In the Senegal Basin, the dam slowed the water flow and created a vastly expanded habitat for snails. More snails meant a greater risk of infection, and across the river basin, the snail population erupted. So bringing back the prawn is like understanding the mechanism of disease. You understand the mechanism of infection, you bring in the predator back to control that snail population, and, and you can control schisto. And so it's back to where the problem started in the first place. The dam wall cannot be wished away, but there is a tried and tested solution that works elsewhere. Environmentalists in other parts of the world have built fish ladders to allow salmon and other species to maintain their migrations. But in Africa, there are many dams and few fish ladders. At the Diama Dam, Elizabeth meets Adama Au, the engineer in charge. She hopes to convince him that restoring the health of people upstream is in his hands. Si on faisait une espèce de passe pour les probac sur la digue en dessous de vos gorges, je pense. C'est quoi C'est juste une sorte de. J'avais, j'ai même un petit dessin. Alors moi, j'avais pensé, mais ça c'est juste une idée à moi, quoi, de faire 
pour le pas, route, passage. Oui. Quoi. Et ça, les corvettes vont monter et descendre. Ils vont rentrer facilement. par là et puis sortir oui, par là. Oui. Point de vue... Euh... Technique. Faisabilité Oui. C est... oui. C fais... À mon avis, ça, c'est faisable. Hein? OK. Seulement... Parce que comme ça, on n'a pas à faire avec le barrage du tout. C'est juste euh, quelque chose qui se passe à côté. Mais il faut, il faut de, de l'électricité, c'est tout. Techniquement, si c'est faisable. Oui. Donc, nous, si on, modestement, on va apporter peut-être quelques observations sur ça. Oui. Et une fois que cette étape-là est, 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 est finie, maintenant, c'est une décision politique. So, there's one more challenge. The Diyama Dam is jointly operated by four different countries. All will have to agree that the prawn ladder is a good idea. We need to understand that wherever dams are built, it will have a negative consequence on the environment and on human health. Um, I think the dam builders need to uh, assume the responsibility to fix the problem that they're creating.